So now we're going to start a part which I call the pattern of four. Here's how it goes. So what I've got is a little scale. And each of these notes, I'm going to start on and play four notes down. One, two, three, four. That's the first note covered. Second note. One, two, three, four. That's the second note done. Third note. So this concept of taking a number and applying it to a scale is, is everywhere in, in rock and metal music. So you've done your pedal part. So we're going to go down to the 15th fret and then simply scale up four notes. That's one, two, three, four. That's the first four done. So that was a down, up, down, up. So, so far. Second finger to the B string, and we're going to do four in a row down the scale from here. So we're going to go down, up, and this time we're going to go up again, and then down. So this is the economy picking part of the whole exercise. It's one part, but it makes a big difference. Because rather than going down, up, over the B string, and then down, which is a waste of my life, I'm going down, up, straight through, and up again. And you can draw that. So, so far. And then down to the B string, 30. And then last four in a row is first finger on the E string, 12. That's one, two, three, four. And then back to the 13th fret B, finishing the loop which you can continue. So here it is, nice and slow for you. Exercise two. So, this is another exercise uh, for economy type picking. You can use this in any three note per string scale, or like I do in this exercise, pick a shape or formation or whatever you're doing and exercise that specifically. So, let's pick the what I call a minor shape. I'm going to have my first finger on the fifth fret E, take my second finger and put it on the sixth fret E and my little finger on the 8th fret, E. So I call this shape, or this formation of fingers, a minor shape. And to exercise this in an economy-picked fashion, I would simply start with the downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, change string, same thing. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So it's the same shape every string, just to exercise this formation of fingering and the down, up, down, down, up, down, down, economy picking movement. When we get to the bottom, we're going to come back the same shape, but we're going to get up, down, up, up. So it sounds and looks like this. So once I reach the bottom, I just come backwards, and start up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. So one thing to make sure is that you don't play the bottom note twice. I'm not going to go, I just go all the way down, and then back. And you can hear it's a nice smooth rolling kind of picking that you get from this. Now you could exercise this in an alternate picked fashion as well, if you like the sound of alternate picking, it would just be the same thing with alternate. I actually find that very difficult, but it's a good thing to do if you want to practice alternate exercises. So, picking exercise three. This is quite a musical exercise. In fact, I've used this in many a shred fest, Metallica, Megadeth type situation. Um, we're going to take uh, a three note pattern and we're going to pick it with economy picking movements. So, uh, we're going to start with a down, 12th fret E string. 
up, little finger, E string 15. And then up, B string 13. And that repeats itself. So it's nice and quick because of these two up strokes. And also, I'm not having to jump over any strings to pick up or down. I'm literally going down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. So this is the top of what I call a, a major arpeggio. Here's the full arpeggio. I'm just using the top part. Now I can make this a minor sound by taking my third finger back by one fret and I get this. So it's a nice thing to revolve or swap between the major and the minor sound and you get this kind of thing. <coughs> and once you find that nice and simple and you've got a quick, clean sound, move the... <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, move the pattern down the neck, so you get this kind of thing. You can experiment with your own notes, you know, maybe do a diminished one, chop it and change it around, see what sounds nice to you. It's just a concept and an exercise and a way of getting your right hand familiar and used to doing the up-up thing on the B and E. Hopefully that'll sort you out.